Hello and welcome to Alchemy 101, the show that explores all avenues of transformation and aims to offer some useful nuggets that can support us in living in line with nature in a way that's true to our nature, no matter how contrary that might seem, just like this nightingale, the bird that sings out in the dark. I'm JJ, the Practical Alchemist, and I'm very happy you could join me today for a chat with someone whose work is very close to my heart. Ariana Aounon is an award-winning women's health mentor specializing in weight loss, thyroid health, and cellular detoxification. She's a nutritionist and a natural health advocate, as well as an author and speaker who's developed what she calls her body awakening method. I caught up with her in beautiful Bali, where she's based right now. I wasn't there. We were on Zoom. And we started off our conversation by me asking her to give us an insight into how she works. Well, first, it's beautiful to be here. So, um, yeah, super excited to come and share this. So the big thing that I'm bringing to the world at the moment is around this cellular way, this cellular there's many different words, but it's cellular regeneration, it's plant nutrition. I myself, the reason why I'm so passionate about this firstly is because I had a huge journey with my own health. I struggled with my hormones, my weight, anxiety, stress, cravings, addictions, you name it. I kind of it ticked it all. I had, at one point I had about over 40 symptoms. And I went on this big, big journey of exploring different diets and um, many different uh, wellness ways, you know, different detoxes, different alternative therapies and healings and supplementation, everything. But I got to this point where I realized that I was doing a lot and actually my symptoms weren't really doing much. It was kind of like something in me was like, things are just being more suppressed. Um, you know, my body was still very uh, tired and congested and heavy and confused and my emotions, my emotions were the big kind of like one that were um, caught me. And um, so it was actually after a big journey around the world and uh, kind of giving my power away in a sense in a relationship that got me to this point. Uh, I remember being in Costa Rica, looking out this window, seeing this macaw, and it was like a sign of self-love. And it was like, and I had just caught this glycophosphate poisoning, Zika virus, like I was in bed feeling like I was going to die. Yeah, you would do. <laughs> right? And there was a whole load of things going on. And I was like, oh, my God. My luggage had been sent to Mexico and I was in Costa Rica. It's like everything had been stripped from me. I was like stripped naked with nothing. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to die in this in this bed, in only my knickers. And it was just an overwhelming feeling. And I just it just hit me then. It was like it's time to turn back within it's time to focus on myself it's time to stop um trying to find love outside myself actually and so moving like fast forward a bit I came back to England I moved I split up from the part my partner at the time and I was guided to Marbella this is when the cellular way came into my life it was like there was this guiding light of like oh okay it's like a I feel like this cellular way is it's this way that it's a way of self-love. You know, I feel like there's this word of like radical self-love. And um, I feel like many of us, many of us are being called to that right now, like deeper, deeper, deeper. And um, so I dived into this 30 day fruit fast and I literally, the transformation through fruit and certain herbs and enemas, it was a whole kind of process, which I now called the body awakening reset method. Um, but the transformation was something that I knew deep in my being there was, but I hadn't experienced it. And then this kind of handed it to me on a plate. I was, And, you know, it was a journey. There was challenges. It was ups and downs. But, oh, my word, like that whole thing of if you've tried so much and you're like, is anything ever going to work? Um, this cellular way, I've realized, and for many of the women that come to me, are like, they've tried loads. So, like, why is this different? Why is this going to work? And it's because we go to the cellular body. So this is the piece. Um, I just felt that story just seemed to come out and wanted to be shared. So I feel like this, this journey with self-love, this journey with 
the cellular way, it's, it's calling us to go. It's like cell deep is self deep. And that's where it took me deeper into really meeting myself, my true self. It peeled away so much. All the, you know, I look at it also like we have a lot of surface level nutrition and detox, which will clear a bit of the body, but it doesn't go to that part of where we start in the cells. We start to clear like imprints. We start to clear like the illusion. And we start to remove veils, so we actually start to see uh, who we really are and um, what we were just mentioning, um, JJ, about the, you know, our true nature. It's like coming back to that place of, like, in our power, like, um, aliveness, soul aliveness, and our joy, our bliss, um, our connection with nature. And I think that's ultimately the cellular way, you know, I've, I've been on journeys with plant medicine and, and many different things, but... The cellular way is something, you know, the way we use the nutrition, you know, it's, um, and I suppose me saying the cellular way, it's like, what is it really? You know, it's, it's working with mucus free, mucus lean, more alkaline nutrition, plant based. And, you know, I always say there's a big difference between eating healthy and then using nutrition to heal the body. Mm -hmm. Um, And I suppose, you know, it's that thing of like, we can just want a bit more energy or to lose a bit of a little bit of weight or or, or do we want to like really go to our next level in our body? And, um, and I suppose it's that thing that's where I feel really called to is that like, you know, experience more of our potential as um, creative beings and really tap into our intuition and uh, really live like live our life, you know, instead of uh, feeling like we have to, I suppose, uh, follow sheep I don't know it's like that's what wants to you know following that the sheep and and staying in that place of conditioning and programming and the thing is like I had so much of that myself to peel away and peel away and definitely humbly still on the journey um but I feel like that's what the cellular way just showed to me it was like there's more there's more and like nutrition is I, I see a lot of nutrition being just so misunderstood, especially if we're going to come to that place of healing the body from chronic disease and really bringing our hormones into balance, which is a key part of bringing that inner union, our feminine and masculine energy, which I feel is so huge right now. Um, and our life force and really like claiming our life force instead of giving it away um, or having it, you know, thinking that we have to give it away um, when, you know, we get to be the... Um, the ones that hold the reins of our our life and um, make the decisions, the highest decisions for ourselves. So it's working with a principle of like transition through nutrition. So we can start to use food to to alkalize the body, to alkalize the tissue, because really ultimately the the dis-ease we feel in the body um, is, is the body's just so acidic. And so when we start to alkalize the body using these beautiful processes in the body waking reset method, it starts to bring um, balance and harmony. And, and as soon as we give the body like the terrain, the environment it loves, it heals itself, right? Um, but of course, you know, in the medical system, if we're, you know, the handing out of medication um, is... It's just, um, it is that word, it's nonsense because, and the thing is, I understand I have deep compassion, firstly, I want to say, because I understand that we want relief on this journey. We want relief and we want to just get better. And we're everyone, and to all the all the amazing beings listening to this, you know, I understand it's, um, it's, a, it's a tough journey, but also it's, we get to empower ourselves to realize that actually medication is, really just more acid on acid you know that's how I like to look at it it's just simple it's like oh actually why would I put acid in my body when actually my body's already acidic and and that's the principle of that cellular way it's like we want to get to the root cause so we can start to heal root deep and of course you know it's like the deeper we go in the body the higher we rise as as a being as our true self um and yeah well, That's... I love I love your description uh, of what you you're doing. Yes, I, I think uh, living our true nature is is really important, and living in line with nature, as I say at the top of every show, living in line with nature and living true to our nature. And how do we get there? And what you're obviously offering is a way 
to get there, which is wonderful. And I'm listening to what you're saying and I get, yes, of course, nutrition. And I'm a big believer in food as medicine, what we put into our body being our medicine and bringing our body back into homeostasis, into balance so that we can really be what we truly are. As I was listening to you, what came into my mind was, okay, so if anybody's listening to this, they, they'll they get the nutrition aspect, absolutely. And um, they will get that, you know, then we're de- de-acidifying our bodies. We're alkalizing, alkaline, what's the word? Anyway, we're making our bodies more uh, alkaline. Uh-huh. And then we come down to the cellular level. Now, we're talking about clearing um, patterns and that sort of thing from our cells. And I, I'm hearing from you that we're talking mostly about doing that through diet, but isn't there another aspect to this? And for instance, anybody who's read um, the book, the biology of belief mm-hmm. will understand that thoughts, emotions, all of those things impact our cells. So when we're talking about the, alkalizing effect of diet and clearing our bodies of all the stuff that we've built up over the years. Do you also work on the emotional and spiritual level with people? Such a good question. Um, And yeah, just insight there. Absolutely. Like I've realized how over the years and I've been nearly on this journey for and doing this work for a near decade and I realized how incredibly important it is to be uh, tapping into the emotional body and spiritual. I mean, it's absolutely essential um, to like that full kind of um, holistic, holistic health. And so what I realized on the journey through going deep in my own body and then seeing my clients go on the journey as well, I realized actually when when there's so much symptom physical symptoms in the body you know it's kind of like okay the energetic to the emotional to the physical when things aren't tended to energetically it's that movement the emotional and again if they're not then it's the physical so once they're in the physical it's like okay so we work on the process of clearing that through the nutrition through detox through regeneration through using the herbs and the fruits and the veggies to cleanse eliminate regenerate and i i I've discovered that once that once the body is clearer at that cellular level, it allows, and I experienced this in my own being. So, and I saw it, I've seen it in many women. It's like it allows us to ex- to feel our emotions and to experience it on a different level. It's like it allows an easier process of actually working with them to release. So it's kind of like that thing of like, oh, okay, so there's so much gunk in the cell. So let's start to remove. I mean, my body was full of mucus and parasites, big things and uh, parasites just due to so much giving away of my power and um, seeking outside myself. Um, So as we turn within, we clear within, we realize what's really within. And so as all that stuff is removed, then it's like, oh, it's kind of like the emotional body comes more in line. And it's like, wow, I'm feeling that. Okay, what's that? And so it's, it's kind of that process through the body awakening um, reset method. It's like we go kind of the physical, the emotional. And then, of course, once we start to really not only start to feel our emotions, but start to have kind of authentic communication around them, like that whole thing of like we're safe to like share our emotions. We're, sh- we're safe to have emotions and and we don't need to label it all as good and bad and right and wrong. It's like, OK, it is what it is. And the body just wants to allow that and express that. And, and what's the journey with that? And I noticed, JJ, a big thing with my own body, the more I've tended to done the physical purification, but then tended to the emotional body and really have that awareness around it, my body just kind of, it feels so light, you know, like weight doesn't come back on because obviously emotion is, it's energy in motion, right? And so it's an absolute, uh, like vital, vital key part of, of the work I do with the ladies for sure. It's, um, it's, uh, it's absolutely essential actually, like the emotional body has to be addressed and why I feel, you know, in our programs, it's such a key bit to have that journey of being able to address that, the whole body, the whole body. And of course, when we go to that level of ourselves and purify there, we start to, 
and start to feel our emotions, start to basically reconnect with our body, right? Reconnect with our body wisdom. And, um, and this incredible, like, feminine temple, you know, which is so intuitive and powerful and amazing. Um, then, like, that whole spiritual journey activates. I've done a lot of kundalini work as well, which also helped me tap into kind of that, I suppose, the divine, you know, that part of our divine nature, like, really understanding ourselves on, yes, we're human, yes, we're sourcing of the human experience, and, you know, we're divine beings as well. And... Um, so, yeah, it's an all round kind of comprehensive journey, you know, coming back to the true self and um, and ultimately just allowing ourselves to be true to like our authentic selves. Right. Like um, I think that's what the peeling away of all the stuff in the cells, you come back to more and more authenticity of meeting yourself, really meeting. You know, I remember there was so many points in my own journey and I hear it from so many women of just like. I just want to know myself, you know, I want to know myself better. And I think it's such a beautiful journey to like, you know, come back more and more and really get to know who you are after we've peeled away, you know, all these conditionings, programs, beliefs, other people's energies and impressions and all that stuff. So yes, as we were talking, we jumped on, you know, the whole, you know, energetic hygiene in a sense is, is really huge and I realized this purification purification journey is what's allowed me to really um step into a place of really learning how to master my energy better in a in a very kind of wild world and um as a wild and wonderful way wild and wonderful way and by the way that book I mentioned biology of belief is by Bruce Lipton a cell biologist who married science and spirit in what was a truly groundbreaking book when it was published 12 years ago well we'll be back with more from Ariana Aonon on all of this in a moment first it's time to take a break to hear these messages UK Health Radio the station that makes you feel good The station that makes you feel good. And you're listening to Alchemy 101 here on UK Health Radio with me, JJ, the practical alchemist, and my guest, Ariana Aonon. Now, I should remind us all at this stage that Ariana specialises in women's health. And one of the issues that many women suffer from is an underactive or overactive thyroid, an issue that Ariana has had a great deal of success in treating by all accounts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the thyroid, having had my own journey as well and seen my mum, my two sisters all be put on medication. My younger sister was put on medication at the age of 16. She was on it for 16 years. And I saw the real um, deterioration of thyroid medication um, mentally. Um, There was real, uh, it was huge. And so I feel like because I saw it so firsthand, it's like I just had this passion for it. And um, and then I was nearly put on medication, but I was kind of like, no, I'm going to say no. My body's saying no, and I'm going to find, find a way. And I went off and I found a way, and that's when I'd begun my studies years ago. And, yes, so many women come with um, hypothyroid mainly, so underactive thyroid, so it comes up also with um, things like de- symptoms like depression or hair loss or stress and anxiety, weight gain, um, and there's absolute, you know, I always like to say it's actually not a thyroid issue. It's an adrenals issue. So actually, when we come to the point of like remembering these beautiful little tiny glands that sit on top of our kidneys, they are like, they just take so much. And when, but when they are regenerated, when they're made healthy, when we start to really move out of flight and fight um, to rest and digest, and we start to just, heal the nervous system really and also the adrenals but all of that interlinks to the detoxification pathways and cleaning the blood um working on the liver the kidneys getting the kidneys filtering not just functioning because most are just functioning want them filtering and get the liver really working and clearing out old hormones and then the lymph really moving it's kind of like the sewer system of our of our body but getting that moving stuff out um and and yeah using plant foods and detox process to do this 
the thyroid naturally heals. And yes, it's not just that physical part. It's also looking at, okay, where am I suppressing my expression? Where am I not speaking my truth? Where am I holding back my authentic voice to not push some buttons or shake the boat a little bit, you know? Um, and also there's the whole journey as well with, with yeah, the, th- the, the medication and how it's, it's just so um, easily handed out. Yeah. Um, there's absolutely a way that you can work with um, our method here. Or, yeah, working with plant nutrition with detox, with that focus on especially all the endocrine glands, but specifically the adrenals. Um, we can bring the body back into harmony. Usually um, women that come to me uh, who have been on medication for usually decades, um, they we work through the process like I've spoken about, of alkalizing, the detoxing, the cleansing, the regenerating, working on the emotional body, the spiritual, and bringing everything into alignment. And they can be off medication in between three to six months. And with that process, we can stabilize being off it. And so that medication has just binned, you know, it's been like, there's no more having to go in and out of surgeries for that, um, for all the testing, which I know how exhausting it can be. Um, I saw my sister do it just nonstop and actually she didn't get anywhere and going to endocrine knowledge. And this isn't putting anyone's work down. It's just seeing where, you know, are we getting help? Are we getting the help that we, we need and want? You know, it's, it's about the solution and, um, medication and, and tests just aren't a solution when we have the medicine of of the earth um of the plants and we have beautiful detoxification processes which will um naturally heal the body you know once the body is given the correct medicine information through these foods and through these processes it knows what's to do you know it's like the body's intelligence yeah. the body's wisdom you know, and yes you know it's like okay sometimes we have to bring ourselves into this place of like giving ourselves permission like okay I I get to heal myself. Like I get to step out of um, that way and I get to choose a different path and it's safe. And there are many of us walking this path with um, nutrition and detox and, and it's okay to go into that surgery and say, you know what, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to try something else. And thank you so much. It's, it's a journey and it's, uh, it does take courage, but I know, you know, we are all full of it. (laughs) We can dig deep and find our courage. Yeah, and then it was, exactly. And I was going to say to you that, you know, in order for us to go on this journey, as you describe it, we have to be willing to go on this journey. I suspect for a lot of people, it's it's easy to accept the medication and not think about an alternative route, which might be a little bit more challenging. So, you know, what you're doing when you're working with people challenges will arise it's not as easy as taking a pill is it absolutely not and and that's the thing right it's that thing of like we kind of think okay it's convenient right it's convenient it's quick it's easy i just pop this pill but is it really convenient is it really like it's just not convenient because yeah. it's taking us down a path of even yes. further ease even further pain even further struggle disempowerment and and handing our body over to some agenda you know some lie and really when actually I really feel like those of us that go on this wildly wonderful crazy incredibly beautiful journey of healing our body you know we are we are called and given this journey to realize the strength that we do have in us to realize how empowered we can become and how inspired we can like you know the inspiration we can absorb from this from others who are you know from other people that are doing it and to realize, you know, when no one's doing it alone, like we can walk this path together, you know, this is a time of unity consciousness. We've got to come together and um, forget the nonsense of separation because we're all interconnected, you know? And it's like, yes, there does have to be this. um, Yeah. Like I'm willing, you know, like I'm willing to try something new. Like I'm willing to step into a place of, believing that change is safe like that I'm yeah. safe to to walk this path and to uh to trust myself ultimately it yeah. comes back to trust like biggest journey ever um to trust yourself to trust life to trust another to trust the plants you know it's there's so much um well kind of trust but in this medication when 
do we even look at the side effects? I mean, half of them say a coma and death. I mean, what the heck are we putting that stuff in our body for? But uh, yeah, it's convenient and it's easy, but it's not because it's suppressing the body and and we don't want to, we're not here to be suppressed. This is it, right? We're here to be these ecstatic, blissful, joyous beings who are thriving and coming together and just feeling empowered. And um, yeah. so I think anything, anything that is, uh, yeah, suppressing you have to the want, body. And- yeah, you have to want that change. And uh, for a lot of people, uh, especially older generations, maybe right now, uh, maybe not maybe maybe no more than any other generation but we've been removed a little bit from the natural world right a lot of people now are on computers all the time and they even go out into nature and experience nature as regularly as they might and uh, i know that for instance my mother who um passed away a few years back at the age of 97 Uh, was very suspicious of anything that I might have foraged, for instance. You know, I remember taking wild garlic home one day to her and she said, what's that? I said, wild garlic. She said, oh, might be poisonous. No, no, it's not poisonous. It's wild garlic. It's absolutely fine. And it's good for you, right? But there's this belief amongst many people that, uh, you know, we have to rely on what's been created in a laboratory or what's been created by the scientists the experts but actually folklore will tell you so many things in nature are just so much better for us and and again you know i always come back to the the example of aspirin and meadowsweet aspirin was originally um extracted from meadowsweet which is where the name aspirin comes from, because I think the Latin name for meadowsweet is spirea something or aspiria or something like that. And uh, as a a medical herbalist friend of mine and sometime guest on the show will tell you, if you take meadowsweet, you don't get any of the issues that you get from taking aspirin, which is the extract from because you have the entourage effect of the whole plant which deals with any issues that there might be so we've kind it's almost like we've kind of moved away from trusting nature you talk about trust it's trusting nature isn't it oh goosebumps yes absolutely you know it's like the whole science thing is like they ice they want to isolate everything and it's like no we want everything in, to work in syn- like in synergy that's how herbs work, right? How you get that beautiful formula. And it's like they all working together and dancing and, and doing their thing, healing. Um, yes, that is the ultimate. It's, um, it's about the, oh, oh which, who says, whose quote is it? I think it might be Dr. Um, Arnold, uh, Professor Arnold Errett, who does this mucus free lean, um, who started this many, many, um, a long time ago. Um, and he says, you know, the only operating table that you want to be on is nature's operating table. Mm-hmm. So how far have we come? Yeah, how have we gone to, oh, I'll go into a hospital and be cut open, have body parts taken out. And I know that's a bit graphic, but it's it's like, hang on a minute, like nature knows, it's like a consciousness, right? It's like, I always look, it's like plant consciousness. It's like plant DNA is actually very similar to human DNA. And so it just naturally knows how to work with us. And I, I feel it's that thing of, it is an empowerment piece really, because it's that thing of like, okay, we can go into the hospital doctor, but it's like, we're, it's like we're handing our body over to someone because I don't know, apparently they know better than us. No one knows better than your internal like guidance system. You know your intuition. And that's what I remember in the surgery, you know, it's that thing of, oh, that feels a bit off and I'm going to trust my within this time. And I'm going to just walk out and say, thank you very much. And, um, and know that I'm safe to do that because like, this is my body, you know, it's like, and I, and I decide what goes in it. So I think it's, it's, it's as simple as that. It's like, you know, do we, it, it's coming back also to self-love. It's like, I'm really, and self-respect really honing in of like, what's more loving for my body? What is more putting a chemical in it or having a surgery or actually seeking out and understanding more, you know? Um, And, you know, I think that's it. It's like, 
it's openness, right? It's like when we open, it's like having that open heart, that open mind, a soft heart to, I mean, look at nature. Like it's just, it just moves with the rhythms, the seasons. It's always adapting. And, and that's what happens when we put these amazing herbs and foods in our body. It allows our body to, yes, like rebalance and reharmonize when um, chemicals just destroy our microbiome and everything. So yeah, ultimately it's, um, it's each of us stepping into that place of saying how, how well, you know, how well do I want to live? Like how good do I want to feel? Because medication is, is a spiral down, you know, it's like, let's spiral up with nature and, and trust our mother. I mean, ultimately, this is what's happening. It's like we're tr- we've got to trust our true mother, which is Mother Earth, and and come back to her medicine. And you know, it's like I've just been in Spain as well for a few days on our land in southern Spain, and I could just feel the ancestors there. My ancestors who used to work with the herbs and have the herbs around them. And, you know, it's like what's happened between then. It's like it, it's a reconnect to our ancestors, right, in the land. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yes, and we uh, haven't mentioned that um, you do have Spanish heritage, uh, hence your name. Um, but mm-hmm. yeah, uh, and and that is important as well. That that's very important. But yes, it is trusting uh, Mother Nature is um, uh, Mother, and and understanding that we are nature. We're not apart from nature. We are nature. We are as in, so intertwined with nature as any other being or plant or entity on the planet it is all nature we're that i think that's fantastic now i know that you do retreats so what i i want to hear a little bit more about is um how you work and uh, you know for instance if somebody were to come on a retreat you're in bali right now and you're going to be running retreats i guess in bali um you've only been back in bali a couple of days at this point uh, as we record this but you'll be running retreats there now on a retreat what would somebody expect say i booked to come on to your retreat in bali what would i experience and we'll hear ariana's answer to that right after this short break so stand by as we hear from our station sponsors The station that makes you feel good. UK Health Radio. The station that makes you feel good. And you're listening to Alchemy 101 here on UK Health Radio, the world's number one Talk Health Radio with me, JJ, the Practical Alchemist, and my guest, Ariana Aonon, who was about to tell us about the retreats she runs. Here's Ariana. Yeah, great. So the Body Awakening retreats are a little bit different to other retreats because I was felt with the whole retreat and it's like, oh, you just go for a week and then somehow you just kind of slip back into into life and everything yeah within our programs our retreat programs there's also three months of one-on-one support so it's a more kind of um I suppose a deeper immersion and a higher level um, one-on-one work together so that we start a bit of work together before so you feel that you know it's really like setting those intentions what's the vision what's the transformation really anchoring that before that's really always so key and then the retreat is somewhere where it's just, I mean, it's for me, it's like where we all get to spirit experience this feeling of, you know, I say like everyone talks about heaven on earth, right? The heaven on earth starts in this body. And so we, we dive deep with, um, with fruit fasting, dry fasting, um, different herbal formulas. I work with bioresonance frequency therapy as well. There's Kundalini, there's dance, there's expression, um, you know, there's circles, there's drumming. There's a lot, you know, it's it's the detox, but it's also coming back to this feminine body. You know, I'm big on that. Of course, we both, we all have feminine, masculine energies within, but we've been given a female body for a reason. And so it's also tapping into our our sexuality, our sensuality. It's coming back to feeling so incredibly connected and safe in this feminine body and at peace and confident. 
um, in who you are, in your body, in your authentic expression, because ultimately, you know, we're just expressive beings. So it is the journey is a is a big awakening of authentic expression as well. But we do like the physical clearing and then real embodiment, you know, so it's, it's like an empowered embodiment awakening journey that we go on and um, I'm very kind of you know it's group work but it's also one-on-one on retreat I, I'm very um, I'm really high I say I'm high touch and really low tech um, with my work and then we continue the journey afterwards for a, a normally kind of the two months or two and a half months we start kind of a couple weeks before the retreat so it's a real deep dive so actually what you uh, what you experience and receive on that retreat, you take into your life and you anchor it and you integrate it and you fully embody it. So you actually step into like a totally new version of yourself um, instead of it just being like, well, that was beautiful and amazing. And then life and stress and everything and caffeine, you know, all that. Um, so it's really, yeah, it's for those women who really want to ex- experience um a deep transformation and really embody the transformation and take it with them into like a new chapter of their life, like a new beginning in their life. And also I've seen in many women that I work with, um, there can sometimes be this little bit of stagnation around creative flow. And that's all unlocked through this work as well and through the purification. So I've seen many women like have projects like for years and then like we work together and like within three months, they've suddenly got like this tarot deck out to the world or they've suddenly like got their whole podcast recorded. Um, so there's also a creative activation and alignment through the work that we do. Um, so, yeah, you know, many of the women are yeah entrepreneurs and mummers, sensitive creatives. Yeah. Well, we talked about this a little bit before we started recording. And I was saying that when you do have that clearing in your system, all kinds of things can come through and we do activate our creativity and we do achieve things or manifest things that we thought we never might do. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So it's it's really fantastic that you're enabling women to get to that point. And then another question that I have about the retreats is how long do the retreats with you actually in person last? We do six nights, um, so into kind of like seven days, but six nights, seven days, yeah. And that's in either Ibiza and Bali. We haven't got new dates set as yet, but they're going to be coming out. They're going to, Bali will be coming out, yeah. Yeah, so so you work with somebody a couple of weeks beforehand. They come out to see you either in Ibiza or Bali, and uh, they spend time with you doing all these things that uh, you were talking about, and then... They have support afterwards, which I think is really important because it's very easy, as you say, to slip back into old habits. It's habits, isn't it? Habits. Habits and patterns and behaviours and thought, you know, certain belief systems and all that because you get around, I don't know, maybe family or friends that are just not on this journey, for example, you know. Um, So, yeah, it's really, I just see it's so powerful when you know that, oh, I finished the retreat, but I've still got Ariana's guidance. We connect every week, like once a week through Zoom or phone call. Plus, you know, we have a connection via message. So I'm kind of, I'm there, you know, daily for a connection. And it just keeps the momentum, the flow, the inspiration that, you know, I'm very much about, we can think this healing journey is going to be hard and a struggle or pain, or we can shift our mindset to one of eagerness and excitement and realize actually, how about like I get excited about this like impending wellness that I'm about to step into this new life of oh so much wonder and so much dance yeah yeah it does sound like um it does sound like exactly what we need today to um to to transform I mean the the uh, metaphor of the butterfly has been well overused over the years you know the chrysalis and the butterfly but it is that really it is about just taking taking the reins and taking responsibility for our health and well-being and our lives and empowering ourselves so that we can achieve what we're here to achieve and i love that yeah and so in your in your sessions after your in person retreats i mean is it just a question of supporting or do you um have a regime that you ask people to stick to because everybody's a bit individual so you know do you have that kind of regime where you have a you know a diet 
chart or that sort of thing, or do you just leave it to the individual to to follow their own lead? No, so um, with the work I do, it's always, yeah, whether it's retreat and then that support, or whether it's the um, online kind of virtual programs I do one-on-one, it's very bespoke. Um, because, yes, everyone is super on their own journey unique individual and we need that so you know I create bespoke programs our sessions will flow with there's always an implementation of the ongoing with nutrition and kind of detox and cleansing protocols and that's specific to that individual and what she needs then Um, and then on our calls you know we can dive into stuff around emotions we can do some sound healing Uh, we can yeah talk about nutrition maybe there's some um, healing symptoms coming up we need to talk through so it's just you know you it's for me and that woman it's for her to just feel like she's so held and so safe and guided that whatever comes up it's all good like we work through it and I think I've realized that having been through just so deep in my own body it's like it's brought me to a place of just being able have to give that you know support and that guidance so clearly and um, I work very intuitively as well so um there's yeah there's a big um intuition that leads the way um with with each journey um but they're always bespoke yeah i mean it's great to hear you saying that because um again i think we're moving away from the old way of doing these this kind of retreat where you're all told to eat this do this you know be this and then you'll be better So that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about everybody on their own journey, but you facilitating that journey. Yes. And I think, yeah, that's such a great highlight. It's it's so important now to feel like we can, we're not following suit. We are all on our own journey and we get to have, we get to also tune into ourselves, you know, and also express what we need. I feel like there's this whole level of like, yeah, we get, especially women, like express what you need and, and and what you're feeling and what's your intuition saying you know ultimately it's it's empowering each individual to realize they can heal themselves and that their intuition is always guiding them and 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 when we come back you know to this purification way we our intuition is so much clearer as well and so it's yeah it's very much uh, you know a, a place of um cultivating like your own kind kind of core soul frequency right and really tuning into your truth um so it is it's it's just that word it always is coming back to empowerment like awake you know it's about awakening like that full empowerment within within oneself to really live true to yeah our true nature yes and uh and i guess that uh, being in somewhere as beautiful as bali you're surrounded by beautiful nature not that we're not surrounded by beautiful nature in other countries either but i can you know i i can just envisage you there in uh, this wonderful uh, space that bali can offer uh and for a lot of people who are living in cities for instance with not so much access to nature and green space although there is nature in all our cities you know, no matter what your city is like i i do say to people you know it's there nature is always there if you look for it sometimes you have to look a bit harder but it's always there and so part of that healing if you're going to see um if you're going to your retreat in in bali let's say is being allowed in the warmth as well, which, you know, Mm -hmm. is not always present wherever we live. I'm here in Scotland. It's not that warm in winter, let's just say. But you can experience that in the warmth. There's something about that that lovely warmth as well that's that's kind of freeing. So we can just relax as well, isn't there? Oh, my God, absolutely. Like the environment and the land has always been a huge thing for where I hold the retreats. Um, you know, I have a big connection with Ibiza, um, kind of doing it out of the, the midsummer season, but kind of spring and autumn. So it's those cleansing seasons. Um, but yeah, Bali here, the mama Bali, she just holds that beautiful frequency of self-love, of self-care, of the feminine energy. So it's very supportive and very nourishing. And yes, the weather is currently very very warm but it's like those balmy evenings and um and the nature is just lush you know there's so much jungle and um it's a very 
magical supportive energy to support purification. So it is, um, you know, it is very different to doing a, a journey, you know, yourself at home, which we all can do. Absolutely. And sometimes we have to do it that way. And that's perfect. Um, but yes, to come out and do it on the land here in Bali and feel the energy, it's a whole other level of transformation. You know, you receive a lot of um, the nourishment from this land. And um, and also there's a whole other soul activation, you know, when we if we're cool, I feel like we're often cool, aren't we? If it's a retreat and it's in a certain place. I remember I was, when I went to one in Peru, it was like, I knew I had to go to Peru. Like the land called me there. And so um, I feel like women will feel that. Is Bali calling you? Is Ibiza calling you? I know she calls many. <laughs> Indeed, that's absolutely true. And uh, yes, it is a question of trusting your intuition and and saying, is this calling me? Is this something that I have to do? And acting on that because so many people will think oh yeah you know I, I feel that I should be going oh but oh but you know I've got this to do or oh but I've got something else to do or somebody will say really what do you want to go there for and then the dream is shattered yeah well Ariana yeah. I, I I think it's fantastic that you're offering women this opportunity um I, I do personally believe that it's exactly the kind of thing that we need in these times. And um, I, you know, I, I think it's great that you are holding that energy, holding that space for so many women so that they can empower themselves and um, align themselves with nature so that they can be true to their nature there. I'll say it again. Um, so thank you so much for coming on the show and talking to me about it. And I think uh, hopefully Hopefully, people will hear what you're saying. And even if they don't come on one of your retreats, they'll wake up a little bit more to the fact that mm, maybe, you know, the stuff that I can be doing that will help me heal more than just going to the doctor and getting a pill. Maybe I can be doing something a little bit more gentle and authentic in terms of my health. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Absolutely that. It's yeah. just, it's being gentle on ourselves. It's being gentle and, and nature is exactly that. It's coming back to, um, yeah, the true, the true medicine and uh, being bigger than our, our excuses and buts and all that business. Exactly, exactly. And not being afraid of the, of that journey. We keep talking about the mm. journey, but not being scared, you know, just taking one, one step at a time. And uh, knowing that, uh, well, actually, I think once you get onto that journey, you you get a certain energy, don't you? There's a certain energy that propels you forward. That's that's what I find anyway. So, yes. yeah. Yes. It's, that's, it's just taking that step, right? It's getting on it. And then it's like, okay, there is, there's a rhythm, there's a momentum because you start to see the results and you start to feel amazing. You're like, okay. There's, there's more, there's more. I get to feel alive. It's, yeah, it's time for soul aliveness. Exactly, exactly. So fabulous. Thank you so much, Ariana. I wish you well with all that you're doing. And uh, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, um, how do they do that? You've got a website, I know. So all the, your information and details are on there. Just uh, tell us the, about the website again. Yeah, my website's um, www.arianaalmion.com. And that's got all my social kind of little links on there yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So if anybody wants to check out what you're up to and maybe work with you, they can find all the details there. Thanks so much once again, Ariana. Uh, mm. It's been fabulous to meet you and have you on the show. Thank you. Such a pleasure. And since we recorded this, Ariana has set a date for her next The Body Awakening Retreat Programme in Bali. Now, that's going to be from the 16th to the 22nd of July this year. So not long to go now. And it's by application only. So if you're drawn to working with Ariana, do contact her at this email address, info at arianaaunon.com. That's A-R-I-A-N-N. A-A-U-N-O-N dot com. And that really is the end of today's show. Thank you for joining us. Remember, you can listen to all of our shows on all the main podcast platforms these days. 
Now, if you like what you hear, or if they've helped you, do help us spread the word by sharing them. You never know; it might be just what someone you know needs to hear. Also, check out the show I co-host with psychiatrist and coach Dr. Mark Goulston here on UK Health Radio. It's called Hurt Less, Live More, and it's the place for raw, open, uplifting, and hopefully enlightening conversations with fantastic guests, and sometimes just me and Mark on our own. For even more health information, there's our sister publication, Health Triangle Magazine. That's a monthly magazine that's full of great features, complementing our radio shows. You can subscribe online at ukhealthradio.com. Or to find out more about me, head on over to thepracticalalchemist.uk. And that really is it. Join me for more alchemy next time. Until then, it's goodbye from me and that nightingale. 